Hey, Rapid Nation, what is going on? Today is Wednesday. Let's do an Iraqi dinar update. Bring you up to speed in less than five minutes, I hope. But let's try to stay rapid throughout this information. Hope you all had a great 4th of July, independence, happy birthday, America, where you live. Let's do this. Lindsey Graham is on the scene in the Middle East and Iraq, global senator with baffling vicissitudes. That means a change of circumstances or fortune, typically one that is unwelcome or unpleasant. Well, if you know Senator Graham, he has a personality, a very strong personality in the government. And he's over there right now. It's great that senators do travel to other countries to see what's going on and to have a presence there in the Middle East. This Iraqi journalist talks about his personality. I'm not going to get into the weeds of it all. Typical politician. And I would love to say he's there to push the reinstatement of the dinar. And possibly it could be. Next, the official Gazette publishes the Law of Emergency Support for Food Security and Development. After the publication in the official Gazette, the law will have entered into force. I used to remember hearing a lot about the Gazette. Has it been published? Has the, the new rate been published in the Gazette? And this is a pastime publication. They still use it today. Although as far as announcing some sort of RVRI, I'm not looking for the official Gazette publication. All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Yesterday, I threw this at my Telegram group. The state law coalition announces the nomination of Nuri al Licky for prime minister what this is crazy but let's backtrack here and let's take a breather and relax for a moment april 13th i made this video nuri al maliki as iraqi's next prime minister the truth i'm just gonna play clips of this al maliki could be prime minister of iraq is the truth about this gentleman came out from the state of law coalition right which is pretty much the opposition for al Sadr and the coronation movement basically the bottom line is it wouldn't occur all parties political parties have to accept prime minister name and the Sadr's movement would have total merit over who's prime minister so it wouldn't happen and the name of al maliki was not put forward immediately i messaged my friend in baghdad and his response was after i said al maliki for prime minister what's going on he says yes it's bad news and because of time zone differences i'm waiting to respond to my other questions and to get some clarity on the subject so articles in today's news the coronation reveals the latest developments regarding the formation of the government and the determination of the prime minister framework block indicating the choice of prime minister was not resolved quickly as some expected al fatlawi says talking about specific names is incorrect because there are several names on the table and the choice of the final name was not resolved quickly therefore for the framework is currently discussing all of this criteria choosing a prime minister to be the nucleus of the success of the next government well hopefully it's not going to be maliki if they're thinking about success and the future of iraq that's just my opinion however i don't believe i don't believe right now this time it is al maliki politicians love to to plant the seed to see what kind of response they get and that's what al sader's been doing before he resigned was planting seeds the framework put forward several names to assume the position of prime minister but so far the issue of any of them has not been resolved amid intense dialogues let's bounce to the presidents and the candidates in the running there the democrat raises the white flag in front of salah and sends a request the coordination framework urgent kdp called for holding sessions to elect the president of the republic indicating that the candidate of the PUK, Baram Saleh has greater chances than any other candidates, such as Reber Ahmad. So they're making their stance, their opinion only, pounding their chest, saying Baram Saleh should be the one, and the KDP's party, their candidate is Ahmad. Barwari said that Baram Saleh's chances are greater than our candidate. There are 31 candidates, remember, for the presidency of the Republic. So we really don't know what the outcome is going to be but again this is somebody's opinion and you're going to see this political publication every day okay so we have a list of five people that could be nominated for the prime minister position including al kazimi and al maliki five personalities to take over the position of prime minister to choose one of them including al kazimi 
And here's what you need to remember. Many leaks appeared to be in the media about the nomination and personality. So really, I think this is just a seed being planted for Al Maliki. Continuing on, most of which are incorrect. Sources added the meetings of the coordination framework ended their agreement of five personalities and that the second step would later take the consultation on one of them assuming the premiership. We have Al Kazimi, Al Maliki, Hader Al Abadi, Hadi Al Amiri, and Mohammed Shia Al Sudani. The framework has not yet finally agreed on the any final figure to take over the position. So here's how I want to end it. Did Al Sader make Iraq better by resigning. What is the strategic plan behind his resignation? Was that a good move? I want to hear about your comments down below. Is Al Sader doing what's best for Iraq? Obviously, I'm not an Iraqi citizen, and an Iraqi citizen could weigh in. I'm going to find out that answer, hopefully, from my guy and get back to you in the coming days. Until next time, stay rapid.